Hey guys, guess what? Mary's upgraded hospital bed. I love it. Ah! Oh. Oh, my you could always try mushy peas. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning, Ollie boy. I think we have a song to sing. I'm going home, I'm going home Tell the world that I'm going home Yeah, she is. So, the plan is set. I'm going home on IV Levaquin, IV Cefepime, Oral Minocycline, and guess what worked last night? Benadryl and melatonin. Yes! Mary slept well, so that's exciting. I did get a little sweaty on this rubber mattress, but it's all right. That's all right, because we're going home. All right, guys, guess what? We're really leaving. We're uploading the vlog before we go, and everything is ready. We still need to grab his bowls, and we're ready to go. Yay! Yay, yay! Thank you so yay, yay. much, guys, for your encouragement and your love and your care. We are so glad that we are not on this journey alone, and we will see you at home. And somebody asked, like, does vlogging make the hospital stay go by easier? And yes. the answer is definitely yes. We're free! It is so nice out. Yeah, it is. We're home. I'm miserable. I, when I got out of the hospital bed to walk around and get ready, I was like kind of feeling like weird, not dizzy, not lightheaded, but just like off balance. And then walking out, I was just like, oh man, I hope I don't fall over. So I've never used Oliver for counterbalance, but I definitely did today, so. He's picked up a new task for the week. And he picked up a squeaky toy. <laughs> it's not his, it's the dog that's staying here. But he's really proud of himself right now. Are you having fun? <laughs> you did so good at the hospital. You like taking a break from the hospital? Yeah, I thought we were never gonna go home. I like taking a break from the hospital. Hmm. I wish you felt better. Me too. Hey guys, guess what? Mary's upgraded hospital bed. I love it. Oh, and Ollie boy is getting all cleaned off from the hospital by playing in the pool. Does it feel better to be out here? Yes. Good. It was really like weird how I feel so weird. Yeah. But I guess I've had like three or four doses of the cefepime now, so maybe it makes me feel weird. Maybe. I went to the grocery store, got some food for us, and now we're just relaxing, enjoying our freedom. Ready for my week. Now I'm ready. Inhalers, Zofran, water, chapstick, and medicines. Mary's just signing a print to send off to one of you guys who ordered, what is this, a uh, feather five by seven. <laughs> If you guys haven't checked out Mary's watercolor prints, they're available in our online store. Every day in the video description box, there are links if you want to go check out those. Order something. She also has greeting cards. So it's so fun that we feel like we're able to share a little bit of ourselves with you guys through these prints. We found out the last few doses of the IV Levaquin that it makes me nauseous. So I'm going to take Zofran. I'm going to pre-dose with Zofran to try to not get nauseous. So, that's good. So, the Levaquin IV comes at home in this bag. It's light sensitive, so it comes in a bag. 
and instead of, oh, wait, I haven't shown my other kind, but I'll show you guys later. So it comes in a bag like this, and now I get to try out my ID bag decorator thingies. Nice. And Oh, nice. Does that work? <laughs> Look at that. That's fun. That is so cool. And then after you're done, you can just take it off and save it for the next dose. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> That's okay. cool. Okay, you guys, these are called um, Little Love Medical. They're fun. Very fun. That's so cool. That's really okay. cool. So we're gonna hang her Leviquin. We got our I trusty IV pole here set up. And first we have to take the tubing and spike the baggie. We'll show you in a little bit her cephapeme comes in the Eclipse bubbles, which we, I'm sure we, yeah, we've shown them on the vlog before. Um, so that's a lot easier for at home. Apparently Levoquin comes from the manufacturer pharmaceutical place already in a bag, and it's an hour and a half dose, so apparently we can't do it in an Eclipse ball. So that's unfortunate, but Mary's gonna do it while she's doing her best. So here is how she gets it all set up. Spiking it, she's sticking that spike into the bag. And now it is ready to go. Now we have to prime the tubing. So she puts some there, and we're gonna prime it into this baggie. So, do you wanna go ahead and I'll hang it? Hang this. Yep. There we go. We have that is cool. That, uh, that decal. All right, and here we go. Dial that to open. Okay, first I'll unclip this and dial this to open. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So now Mary's flushing her line, and we're gonna <laughs> hook it up to this, which we've kept sterile. Just hooking that up, and now we're gonna turn this to it goes over an hour and a half. An hour and a half, and so we're gonna turn it to Ooh. 100. Okay, set on 100 milliliters per hour, and here we go. Well, guys, Mary's still hooked up to her IV, and she is tired out, so. She's going to get some sleep. Once that's done, I'll hook up her cephapim and that runs for half hour, I think. And then I'll go to bed after that. So we'll go ahead and wrap up the vlog. And thanks for watching, guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for joining us in the hospital and now back home. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.